I'm waiting. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. In the waters of baptism, Father James McSweeney died with Christ and, and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory in baptism, James was clothed within Christ. On the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed in glory. In life, Father James cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, you blessed of my Father. In baptism, James received the sign of the cross. May he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear with favor our prayers, which we humbly offer, O Lord, for the salvation of the soul of Father James McSweeney, your servant and priest, that he who devoted a faithful ministry to your name may rejoice in the perpetual company of your saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading from the book of Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your parents' house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. In all you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went to the Lord had to, as the Lord had told him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My hope is in you, O Lord. My hope is in you, O Lord. No one who waits for you, O Lord, will ever be put to shame. Remember your mercy, Lord and the love you have shown from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth. In you, in your love, remember me. My hope, my hope is in you, you O oh Lord. Relieve the anguish of my heart and set me free from my distress. See my affliction and my toil and take my sins away. My hope, my hope is, is in you, you O oh Lord. Lord. Preserve my life and rescue me. Do not disappoint me. You are my refuge. May innocence and uprightness protect me, for my hope is you, O Lord. My, my hope, hope is, is in you, you, O Lord. The second reading is from the letter to St. Paul to the Romans. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For the dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. 
Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we have grown accustomed these days to doing things online and either Zooming or Facebooking masses, services, sermons, homilies, and in this case, the funeral of Father James McSweeney. And we understand that the family in Ireland is able to participate virtually. And so I, I greet you and uh, offer you my condolences on the loss of your brother James. And I pray that this funeral service will be a source of consolation for you as we gather here in Middletown, the place where Father James was pastor for the past 20 years and gathered as we are restricted by COVID restrictions to a small gathering of his friends who have come together this morning to bid a fond farewell to their friend, their brother, their priest, Father James. We have no doubt that life is changed, not ended. Nonetheless, we do experience grief and loss when a beloved friend, community member, and priest leaves this side of reality for the other side of reality. We may think of the possibility of heaven and eternal life as some sort of virtual reality, but that's false. It's the true reality. It's more real than what we see and experience here and now. And we look forward to the time when we can be reunited with those who have gone before us. At the same time, obviously and rightly, we grieve those who have gone ahead of us. As I reflected on the life of priests in general, certainly what defines priests in many ways is what we do today, mass at the holy altar, where the priest recites those words of Christ, this is my body which will be given up for you. This is the cup of my blood which will be poured out for you. Those are not only the words the priest says imitating Christ's words, but they must and are the words of the priest himself as he makes his own personal offering in conjunction with that beautiful offering of Christ to his father. For the past 46 years, Father James has said those words, those words of consecration, those words of dedication, but also those words of self-sacrifice, those words of self-giving. 
And throughout his life, James has given himself for the sake of the people of God. 46 years ago, he came to this country and really had to be missionary in spirit and in heart to leave his native homeland, to leave his family, to come to a foreign land and to minister here for all these years. There is gift in that. There is sacrifice in that. There is an offering in that. And as we gather today, we really do express gratitude to the family who have given James to the Church of the Diocese of Santa Rosa. And we gather to give thanks to James himself for his years of ministry, service, sacrifice, and self-offering, which he has made on behalf of the Church and people of God of the Diocese of Santa Rosa. A priest's life is a life of blessing. Jesus shows us in the gospel that he was a friend of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And Father James, likewise, as you know better than I, had friends in the community. And priests are blessed. We hear those words of the gospel that Jesus will give us an eternal reward in heaven, but he will also give us 30, 60, and 100-fold reward here and now. And I really do believe that the friendship which priests have with their parishioners, the extended families that they develop in their parishes, are in fact that 30, 60, and 100-fold blessing. And so I thank all of you who are in the parish here at Middletown in particular for your friendship to James. As a priest, I know that my lay friends are extremely valuable, important, and even essential for me. And so I commend you for bringing Father James into your own families and becoming a part of his. Certainly the parting for you is much creates a much greater grief because of the friendship, but nonetheless, your lives and his have been enriched by that mutual friendship. And so I thank you. Thank you for your graciousness to Father James, for your goodness to him, for making your home his home, for making Middletown his home. Over the years, Father James served in Crescent City for five years, and I'm sure he made a home there. And then he was in Sonoma for 10 years and made a home there. And then for the past 20 years, he's been here in this little community, serving faithfully and selflessly on behalf of the people of Lake County. He was extremely generous and willing to do whatever we asked him to do. When Clear Lake was lacking a pastor for a time, he said, oh, I can take care of that. I thought, you already have a fairly full schedule with the, the parish and the missions. And he very joyously and graciously took on that additional role without, without even a, a hint of hesitation. I, I'm grateful to him for the way that he responded frequently to the needs of the church, particularly in my experience, to the people in Lake County. James had many homes, starting out in Ireland, going to Eureka, Crescent City, Sonoma, Middletown. But even though he made a home in each of those places, he knows, as we all know, that each of those is a temporary home that we are always sojourners. We are always pilgrims on this earth. And today we pray that James is welcomed, if not already welcomed, into his final and eternal home, reunited in heaven with his parents, with other relatives and friends who have gone before him, and where we too hope to find our ultimate home, where we, will be with Christ, with God, with all the angels and saints, and with all those, in many ways as we think now, 
especially those whom we have known and loved during our pilgrimage and our visit to this side of the realities of heaven. God bless all of you as we continue to pray for the happy repose of the soul of Father James. I'm pleased to welcome various priests, Father Adam, whom you know from Clear Lake, Father Moses Brown, the Vicar General of, of the Diocese, Father Eliseo, who is at Lakeport, one of the three priests who were in Lake County, Father Dennis O'Sullivan, uh, also from the, the old country, from the, the old Sod, and Monsignor Welton, um, who was vicar for clergy for many years, as well as vicar general, and who was very close to Father James, also from Ireland. And so uh, this is the, the number of priests that were allowed to gather. And if it hadn't been COVID, we would certainly have had larger numbers, but I'm pleased that these priests have gathered to show their affection for Father James and to join me in prayers for him. Please stand. For Father James, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. <clears throat> For Father Maxweeney, who as your priest celebrated the Eucharist and was nourished at the table of the Saviour, welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all priests and religious men and women, and all those whom Father Maxweeney served in his priestly life and ministry, may they journey through life with hearts filled with direction, purpose, and love for your kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased parents of Father James Maxweeney, uh, Michael and Ellen, who gave him life and preceded him in death, may they come to enjoy the fullness of your life. In heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and in love. And for those who cannot be present because of the coronavirus pandemic, we pray for Father Maxweeney. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Maxweeney's sisters, Evelyn and Mary, his brothers, Dennis, Donald, Jeremiah, Timothy, and Joseph, and their families, for friends and all those who supported and cared for Father James throughout the years of his priestly ministry, ministry may they be blessed for their kindness and generosity and comforted in their time of grief and loss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all Place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We ask your mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice of our service offered for the soul of Father James, your servant and priest, may now bring pardon to him who devoutly offered sacrifice to you in the church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your saints, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to, our prayer, to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Father James McSweeney, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by food from your heavenly table, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the power of this sacrifice, the soul of Father James McSweeney, your servant and priest, who faithfully ministered in your church, may exalt forever in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Father James will be remembered as our pastor, our friend, a winemaker, and a very proud Irishman. When he came to this parish 20 years ago, we were financially strapped and Mass had low attendance numbers. In a short amount of time, Father had us back in the black by engaging our members and establishing our annual barley banquet and other fundraisers. Father was a great organizer. He could get anyone to do anything he needed simply by asking. His leadership skills were impeccable and exactly what this parish needed. St. Joseph Middletown is not just a church, we are a family. His down to earth demeanor and his ability to explain the scriptures in a way that everyone could understand brought new life to our church. His bits of trivia and facts that he shared with us were fun and enlightening. Did you know the White House was modeled after Lanster House in Dublin, Ireland, or that it's illegal to import horses into Iceland? Well, us at St. Joseph know these things. As one of the most selfless, wise, and kind human beings, he was able to relate to the struggles of his parishioners. During the Valley Fire, he really united our parish at a time when we needed each other. And for that, we are eternally grateful. We were not ready to say goodbye to him, and many of us are still in shock. We must remind ourselves that he is in heaven rejoicing with the Lord. Rest in peace, our friend, until we meet again. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive, Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother James in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Father James in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, condolences to all of you and thank you for your support and friendship to Father James. They are wonderful for priests to have supportive friends to carry us through this life and to see us off into the next. God bless you and reward you abundantly. See.